Welcome into the Frogs Today post-game show. TCU coming up with a 41-6 win over Nichols State and TCU's defense. Boy, what an improvement from last week, holding Nichols State to just two field goals. And offensively, wow, what a game there as well. The run game getting super involved. We knew that was going to happen with Kendall Bryles. Arkansas offense last year ranking in the top 15. And we're going to hear from some of those players coming up next, so stay tuned. You know, we wouldn't be able to do the things we were able to do this year without the Flying Tea Club. So we got to continue to, to get people involved. It's it's more important right now than it's ever been. Flying Tea is special. It's 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 the best thing I've, I've encountered in college. It allows us to be able to offset a lot of the costs that our scholarships aren't able to cover. If people like winning, invest in, in, in the Flying Tea Club and NIL. It's almost a necessity now in uh, the college football world. I mean, you got to kind of invest uh, in the programs and what you put in is what you get out. First guest tonight is Jay Flash. Jay Flash had a touchdown tonight. So that offense really got it going today, 41-6. to six. A big improvement since last game. What do you think was the difference maker this week? Uh, just being locked in on the details and taking it, one taking it one play at a time and just executing that one play. Absolutely. And kind of the mentality you guys had coming into this season was a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. Everybody saying that you know, last season making it was a fluke. How do you think that's kind of affected you coming here and kind of playing around those guys who were there last year? It always put that, um, that little edge in your mind to, you know, uh, you know, kill the doubters and things like that. But we just got to focus on ourselves. We've been focused on ourselves. We don't listen to the outside. Yeah. And a lot of heat, Chandler Morris taking a lot of heat, you know, a lot of people talking about his performance abilities. What did you think about playing with him tonight? Man, Chandler's the dude, man. Just uh, just give us some time. We, we just, we, we rolling. It just, it just takes time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great night. In Botham, we put people first. So we simply start by listening to you. Whether you're searching for customized insurance, HR, or financial solutions to protect your home, car, health, business, or employees, our specialists are here to serve you, the people you care about, and your success. Higginbotham, insurance, HR, and financial services, inspired by you. Okay, so MP, you had a great game today. The defense as well doing a spectacular job, a huge improvement from last week. Walk me through kind of that mindset during practice this week. Yeah, um, I feel like we, you know, we left a lot of plays on the field last week and we just kind of knew what we had to do. Um, you know, we went into practice, you know, the day right after the game and just harped on the things we had to focus on, you know, be being better in scramble drill situations, getting pressure on the quarterback, just trying to be intentional and focusing on all, on all the little details that, you know, it takes to be a good defense. So I think that week, uh, that week of practice was really good and, you know, we need to keep stacking and keep building off of that. Uh, talking about being intentional with the quarterback and stuff and pressuring, that guy's a left-handed quarterback. Was that, that kind of a different preparation for you guys than normal or the same? Um, not much. You know, sometimes it'll be a little different uh, dealing with a left-hand quarterback, but the only thing that really changes for DBs, passing strength-wise, you know, um, his left hand being his dominant hand, it changes for us, but not much. Did anything surprise you about this game tonight? Were you expecting no. this win? No, I was. I was expect. You know, I expect to win every game we go out and play. But um, you know, we just stayed true to what we saw on film, and you know, did what we did all we could practice. So you know, um, good to get back in the win column and just trying to keep stacking. Absolutely. And Sonny talked a lot about needing a leader to emerge on the defense. Do you think you guys found that this week? Almost definitely. You know, we we had it the whole time. You know, it just got to got to shake the rust off. Absolutely. Get back out there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Simply the best barbecue in Fort Worth. Dine-in, catering, or drive through 2900 Montgomery, just off I-30. Remember, the best barbecue in Fort Worth is at Railhead Smokehouse. Sunny Dykes, a great win tonight. You know, you guys came off the Colorado game. It was a little shaky. A lot of talk about that defense last week. Coach, this week they hold them to two field goals, just six points. What do you think about the defense? Yeah, yeah certainly, um, certainly played better. I mean, that was obviously a big focus for us was to do a better job getting off the field defensively and Thought we played harder tonight. Thought we played more physical. Um, anytime you, you hold your opponent to two field goals, that's, that's a pretty good day's work. And the great thing is I think we can get better. You know, And I was encouraged when we had some young players that had a chance to play defensively. I really thought those guys played well. Thought we played with a lot of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I thought they played, uh, played hard. And so it was good to see. 
Absolutely. And another couple of young guys that got to play on the offense, Josh Huber, he went in for a couple of snaps. You know, his first couple weren't as good yeah. as they could have been. But, you know, he did end up getting that touchdown scored. That was – Yeah, what yeah. Did, oh, How was that for him? Yeah, yeah. You know, I was just talking about this in the press conference. Look, you know, Josh got a snap early in the game. Chandler's helmet came off on the yeah. goal line, so we had to take Chandler out for, for a second. And I don't know. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened. I think the snap was off a little bit. I think the running back kind of ran into him. I don't know exactly what happened. And then he got hit throwing the ball earlier. So uh -huh. basically he had a couple of times where he handled the ball and turned it over twice. And so we were trying to get him some snaps, wanted to get him a couple of throws. You know, we scored a touchdown late, which I hate doing. I don't really like uh, running the score up. And, I, you know, I got a lot of respect for Nichols and Tim Rebo, their coach and their players. I thought they played hard. Absolutely. And, they're, you know, and they're a first-class outfit. But you have to balance that a little bit with trying to, to do what's best for your players yeah. and, and, um, and and get Josh ready. I mean, he's going to have mm -hmm. to play for us this year. And so, anyway, it was it was uh, it was good to see him score a touchdown, throw that touchdown pass. Good to see Jordan Bailey uh, make some plays when he had opportunities too. And so, I was encouraged by that. Absolutely, and the team definitely has the run game very involved. A lot of guys able to run those in for touchdowns, huge runs today, something you didn't necessarily see against Colorado. Was that something you kind of expected bringing Kendall in? You know, he had a big yeah. run game last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, off. you know, I, th I think, you know, we ran the ball for 262 last week. I think we only ran for, I don't know, probably under 200 yards this week, I'm guessing. Um, you know, we didn't run up, we didn't get as much movement up front probably with the offensive front as I would have liked. We'll go back and look. I mean, there was different reasons for it. I think we lost some one-on-one -on -one battles. I think we also, you know, run into a bad box sometimes. And, and um, you know, there's some scheme-related stuff that we can improve on. So we, we just got to get better, you know. And I think uh, it's good to see Jordan ba or uh, uh, Imani Bailey run hard. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a good running back. Trey mm -hmm. Sanders, I thought, looked mm -hmm. better this week than last week. Even Chandler. Yeah, Chandler had two big yeah. runs for us as well. You know, one touchdown and converted another long third down. So, you know, we did some stuff we needed to to, to get the run game going, but we've got we to gotta be able to, to get a little bit more moving up front than we did this week. Absolutely. And next week, it's the first road game of the season. You're going to Houston. What is kind of the mindset going into that? Well, you know, uh, we told the guys earlier, I mean, look, we're going to have to play better than we played to have a chance to beat Houston. I mean, we've. You know, we played pretty well offensively against Colorado week one. We played pretty well off defensively today against Nichols. So we're going to need to play well on both sides of the ball next week to have a chance to win. And, um, you know, I think our guys will. You know, I think they know we have to get better and we have to improve. And and I'm encouraged by our attitude. And, and we just got to continue to, to tighten things up and get better. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. We're lucky to have a collective that's as strong and as powerful as the Flying T Club. It's a big deal for us. It is a game changer. You know, I would just encourage any any fans out there to support it. Everyone asks me, what's the biggest priority? And I say, NIL is big. Please jump on board, show these student athletes how much they mean to you. The thing about NIL is I think there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And the Flying T Club do it the right way. Let's keep winning. Join the Flying T Club today. Chandler, a big win tonight. The team definitely needed that. You put up a ton of offensive points, and you yourself got to run one in. What was kind of the difference maker this week? Um, just kind of we had a, a chip on our shoulder this week. Yeah. Um, obviously, we were trying to get that bad taste out of our mouth uh, from last week, and, and we knew that was not TCU football. Um, so definitely this week we just had a chip on our shoulder, and it's going to continue to be that way um, and trying to go out there on the field and produce. Sonny talked a lot about wanting to see – a leader emerge offensively and defensively. Defensively, Do you think that happened this week? I think so. I mean, I think a lot of people stepped up. I think some older guys stepped up. And um, we got we to gotta put a big emphasis on uh, trying to pull these young guys together mm -hmm. and, and pulling them with us and, and encouraging them because it's a long season and, and we're going to have to depend on them a lot. And so trying to uh, hold them accountable. And, and I think that we did a good job this week of uh, kind of some leaders stepping up. Absolutely. And Amani Bailey becoming really reliable for you as a running back. Talk to me about his performance. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can trust nine. I mean, he's, uh, he's always going to know his job, his assignment. Um, he's going to do it at a high level, and he's going to protect. Uh, he's going to try and protect me. And, and he's got a lot of trust in me, so I've got a lot of trust in him. Um, and, and we have a great chemistry. And Josh Huber, he took a couple of snaps, didn't have too many. He had a couple of bad ones. Then he had a great one with that touchdown. What do you think you as a mentor kind of do for Josh? And, like, why was that important for him to be able to come in and do that? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, he uh, he had some adversity, um, but the great thing about him, and it's hard to teach on a, on a young player like him, is not to flinch. And that's kind of been a big emphasis this week on uh, for all of us. Don't flinch. And um, he uh, he responded, and, and that's great to see out of a young guy. Absolutely. Thanks, Chandler. Thank you all. John's Grill is the newest venture from John Pinnell and the Pinnell's Restaurant Group. A reach to table concept featuring food, beer, and spirits from around the great state of Texas. Our menu is designed by Chef Sean Alvarez and features two chef inspired burgers the fatty and the flatty, plus a brisket menu perfect for your casual night out. Fast casual service in a fun, relaxed, family friendly environment. Featuring 11 big screen TVs for you to catch the big game on. Our mixology team has created a craft cocktail and beer menu featuring local spirits and brews from across Texas. John's Grill, home of the Players Club show each week, 2905 West Berry Street in Fort Worth, or online at johnsgrill.com. From all of us here at Frogs today, we are so excited that you joined us today, and we'll see you next week as TCU takes on Houston. Go Frogs! <laughs>